Hello, oh, Mr. Frosty here, and today we're gonna be going over these wild card picks. So if you guys are wondering, hmm, I wonder what team I should pick, you know, to get these collectibles. Well, I might be able to help you out because I know a little bit about football, you know, just enough to know the right picks, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but let's, let's let's go on with this video here. So basically, I believe there was a good probably like 13 or 12 of these I think it was 13 or 14 somewhere around those lines there's like 14 of these or 13 of these picks right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I already did two of them so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the picks I put for Jaguars versus the Bills so I picked this one right here so I picked the Bills pass one because I think the Bills are obviously gonna outpass the Jaguars because you know Blake Bortles freaking sucks so <laughs> I think they're going to outpass them. And then for Jaguars, obviously I put them for rushing because they got Leonard Fournette. And he did have a, a thousand yard season, so it's pretty obvious to pick the Jaguars for rushing. Alright, so let's continue. And hopefully these are in order here. So I'm ready to go ahead and go over all these picks right now. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasty. Um, I, got, I got sick over this weekend or whatever this New Year's. But yeah. Alright, so this one, let's see what this one is. It should be the Jaguars one. Yes, it is. All right. So it is an order, I believe. So this is the Jaguars one. So this is if the Jaguars and the Bills combine for less than 45 points. Um. So it's either it's telling me to either pick less or more than 45 points. I believe they're both going to score. Oh, man, it's a tough one to choose. I think they're going to score less. No, more. They're going to score more than that. To be honest, I, I got a feeling they're going to score more. Because the Jaguars are pretty good for putting up points. So, you know, let's go on with this. Alright, so this one is the Saints versus the Panthers. Or Panthers versus Saints, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can hurry up and load here. Alright, it, oh, it's right here. It's not loading for some reason, but let's go ahead and read the back of it. So it says, if the Panthers and Saints combine for less than 45 points. And more than 45 points. Alright, for, so for this one, I'm going to put less... Because these are both great teams. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm lying. I'm gonna put more. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put more points over 45 for the Saints and the Panthers. Because you know, the Saints and the Panthers have been scoring a lot of points this season, especially the Saints. So you know, it makes it makes some sense to. Sorry about that stupid disconnection. But like I said, we're gonna pick the Panthers and Saints for the 45 plus points scored. And yeah, let's continue with this video here. Uh, the next one, okay, this one loaded. All right, the next one is if the Panthers pass more than yards than the Saints. So the Panthers have Cam Newton and the Saints have Drew Brees. Pretty tough matchup right there. This probably would be one of the best matches in the playoffs right now. But I'm going to go with the Saints because Drew Brees always gets a lot of yards. So, you know, obviously he's going to outpass Cam Newton, I believe. I got a strong feeling that he will. All right, this one is the rushing. So Saints do have Kamara, Alvin Kamara, who has been freaking dominant as hell. And the Panthers do have Christian McCaffrey, who has also been dominant as hell. But he's not really much of a rusher, more of a passer. Like, they always pass him, they've always passed the ball to him most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, Alvin Kamara for the Saints here. And I believe he is going to get more yards than Christian McCaffrey. Let's continue here. So this one is the Rams against the Falcons. So I am going to put... I'm going to put less. I don't believe the Rams and Falcons are going to go that far in points, to be honest. So I'm just going to put less right here. So the next one. Alright, it's so the Falcons pass. If the Falcons pass for more yards than the Rams, or if the Rams pass more than the Falcons. Uh, Falcons have Matt Ryan, and the Rams have Jared Goff. Jared Goff is doing actually pretty good. But they've been rushing with Gurley most of the time. So I'm not sure who to pick on this one. It's pretty difficult to pick, but hmm, I might, I might, I mean, you know, what? I'm gonna go with the Falcons because the Falcons have better receivers than the Rams right now. You know, they got Julio Jones, and you know, you know him, he can get a lot of yards. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Falcons for that one. And it lagged out. Anyways, let's continue here. We have five more of these packs left. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let's see what this says here. 
Oh, same thing like I said. Falcons are going to beat them in the pass here. So let's get Falcons pass right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, there we go. I thought I was going to lag out again. That's why I got quiet. Sorry. All right, let's continue here. All right, so this is the rushing. So obviously going to be the Rams. <laughs> they got Todd Gurley. That's a that's not even a competition there. Obviously the Rams are gonna beat him in the rush. That makes perfect sense. All right, this is the Titans and the Chiefs. So this one's actually gonna be pretty difficult to to judge because both those teams suck ass. But I believe the Chiefs are better than the Titans to be honest at this point because the, the Titans barely made the playoffs. I mean the Chiefs did too, but at least they were low. They were division leaders, and the Titans weren't. They lost to the Jaguars. So yeah. But, mm, so if this is right here, if they're going to get more than 45 points or less than 45 points, oh boy, mm, mm, mm. you know what, I think it's going to be less, I don't see any of them scoring or dominating a lot, but I mean, they could because, you know, they got Alex Smith, he's been doing ass, but they got Mahomes, and Mahomes is actually pretty good, but yeah, I doubt they're going to get 45 points by themselves, so I'm going to put less than 45 I see, I see the Chiefs winning like 24 to like 7 or something like that. So, yeah. All right, let's continue here. So this one is the Chiefs pass and the Titans pass. Uh, Mariota is not going to outpass freaking Mahomes or Alex Smith. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Chiefs pass here. All right, the next one. So this one is the Titans rush and the Chiefs rush. So the Chiefs do have... What's his face? I forgot his name. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? I don't know. I'll go back to that. But the the Titans have uh, DeMarco Murray, but I think he got injured, actually. I think DeMarco Murray got injured. And the Chiefs have that, that running back. It's that rookie running back. I forgot his name. I really forgot his name. He had that showstopper. What's his name? Oh, what's his name, bro? Kareem Hunt. There we go. So they have Kareem Hunt. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Chiefs here. And that was the final one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, just let me know in the comment section below if these actually help you out or if these make sense to you. Or if you guys have different opinions, I'd like to hear that in the comment section as well. So, yeah, those are my picks for the playoffs here. Um, this year's playoffs looks pretty weak, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of it in the AFC, but the NFC is looking juicy, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Look at that. The NFC has all those juicy teams, and the AFC has all those mediocre teams, except for the Patriots. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah.